everybody and welcome back. Another day, another task, or another many tasks. First off, I do actually have to get all the, it's literally one party to another at the moment, isn't it? So I've got to get all of the beer coolers, the empty kegs, gas bottles, all the rest of it from Billy's Chateau, get them back here, get them all cleaned up and cleaned out ready. I've got somebody helping me with chopping some wood which will clear a space here and I just need to get on with getting this place ready to not only host a reasonably big birthday party we are looking like we're up to about 80 85 people now apparently loads of them are camping Poor little one series. All right, I think everything's in it. No space for anybody else though. Useful little car. Now I need to get all this lot back for the Rex Nest Party, eh? So we've got a fountain working, we've cleared this bank. I've obviously making that a little bit better today with the lawnmower just going down. And when I do a painting day, I'm allowed to do, so, I'm not allowed to make noise on certain days and certain times. I will come to this. But in the meantime, this bank is awful, that bridge. And I actually need to make that area over there, a little piece of scrap land into a camping area for a few different vans and a couple of tents and a motorhome or two. So we need to be able to get to it. Right. I'm taking a small break in the shade because it's about 28 degrees today, which is lovely. Need some good weather after it's been terrible. And across on the little piece of land across the bridge that I built, I call it no man's land never really used for anything there's kind of piles of wood everywhere to chop up and I need to clear that because this is where some of the little camper vans and stuff are going to go for the party so they're not crowded around the stage and the musicians and the music so they can get away if they want to and it won't be as massively noisy it's hard work but it's mostly clear it's that corner in the entrance that's a beautiful view from back here. It'll all be worth it. Right. So as I was saying, ignore the noise in the background. This is the way in. And we have this full of logs on that side. Which all needs to be cleared back. And I can scrape the digger and level it out. So this is a nice level here. Up in that far right corner, same thing, can't get around this tree, but we can get this area sorted so people can swing into this area much easily. So <sighs> this tree has to go. Right viewer. All the, I had somebody help me today and they didn't want to be on camera, they just wanted to get on with the job. And to be honest, it's much easier for him to get on with the job without having to worry about filming sometimes. So having the excuse was helpful. Got somewhere. Okay, we're looking clear up there. I started digging some stuff out of this hedge. That's another job for tomorrow. Huge pile has gone from over here. And what we've done, these are the last bits. Need to put that lot in a bag over there. There's decent logs for winter in the trailer. 
huge bag of stuff because I'm going to have a fire pit at the party. So all this small stuff that ordinarily you just get rid of, it's not worth it for the fire. It's perfect for the fire pit. It's nice and dry. <sighs> and this massive tree, a big chainsaw stops working. So this is not a sponsored video, but all I'm going to say is well done, you little thing going for it you went really went for it obviously a new chain and a pile of sticks there so these big rounds i'll have to chop down tomorrow but the tree's there and now we can roll this out the way sort out that entrance a little bit bit more cutting tomorrow and i'm somewhere apart from a little bit more cutting tomorrow a little bit more clearing cutting the grass and strimming the banks we have our camping area. <sighs> of course, it's across the bridge. So it'll be away from the main party, but they can just cross the bridge and get to it. And to be honest, it's been quite nice to spend a bit of time over here and admiring the view that I don't usually look at. You know, it's, it's not, I'm gonna call it no man's land for a reason. So now, I've just got to work out how the rest of the back garden set up for the party. And hopefully, this will all come together quite quickly. Did have a few questions uh, in the comments. And I, when they're relevant, I'll try and answer them. Someone said why. I mean, loads of really nice comments about obviously clearing that. And I'm really happy we can see through to the terrace from yesterday. But a few people said well is that as important as everything else yes because there will be some children at the party there will be some animals and ultimately you have to behave, have a clear line of sight down to the water for safety reasons if people think there's a bush there and maybe they can't see through that bush to the water on the other side it's actually a little bit a little bit dangerous you're playing chucking a ball around or doing something that you do at the, at the party in a big back garden too easy to think that you're safe on the other side of that bush and of course you're not but it's mostly for safety so that's why it really has to be done that's why i have to carry on with the rest of the banks and it to be seen especially on that camping area because if people are in vehicles they definitely need to know where the edge is and i think it's a good setting for a party out here looking back i think originally we said there's going to be about 30 to 40 is what I thought. Apparently it's going to be more like 80 or 90. So I am getting a little bit worried about where we put everything because it's ultimately it's not the same as one of the big public events where there's 500 people here at a time. So you need to make it a little bit more intimate. And I do need space for some large motorhomes which can't get in the camping area over there. So there's some thoughts to go in, but that will all get set up on Monday. Now... I need to get changed. So I'm changed because after that hard day doing that, I've now got to go to the convent and help them film something this evening. Been in the diary and planned for quite some time. So it's all go at the moment. That'll be late into tonight. But tomorrow, it's not the clearing that's happening. Tomorrow will be a bit more exciting because I will finally, finally be finishing something that's really important. Because you can't have a party without a bar. So tomorrow, I get the opportunity to pull this out of the hedge, clean it up, and finally finish that and turn it into the bar properly. It's been a long time coming, and many years ago I started it, I decided I wanted a completely different um, inside and outside and colour scheme. And then it was going to be filmed for something else for a TV show and then that's not being used and I don't want it for that. So I don't mind showing you now. So what? Apparently, we're off ghost hunting in the convent. And if any, with any luck, that's something you'll see tomorrow. In the meantime, I've got to go. So, hopefully, viewer, tomorrow I'll be able to carry on with here and do the horse box bar unless something terrible happens tonight at the convent. See you later, wish me luck.